All right, so a police dog or, or a canine is a dog trained specifically for law enforcement work. In Maryland, did you know an assault on a police dog carries the same penalties as an assault on a police officer because the police dog in Maryland is considered a police officer? With us this afternoon for Most Wanted Monday, Lieutenant Tim Robinson with Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Glad to see you again, sir. Great to be back. You got a little, uh, been standing too far away from your right? Yes, I have. Can we, can we talk about that a little later? Yes, we will on? be talking about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to find out what's, yes. what's going on here. Um, so let's talk about police dogs. Yes. R real quick. What do you think is the most common misconception when it comes to a canine officer? That they can hide um, a, a odor that is um, given off by contraband. They can use something to mask it. And the dogs are, are so well trained that the human might smell the odor of the air freshener or right. something else. That dog their noses are thousands of, of times more sensitive. They can break down individual smells. For instance, if uh, we come home and we smell a pizza cooking, yeah. we just know the smell of the pizza. Right. That dog will smell the crust. That dog will smell the tomato sauce. That dog will then smell the cheese and any individual topping. Individually. The, the dog can, can, um, can smell that well. And we have found stuff hidden inside um, objects, we find it all the time. So, so even though somebody's tried to mask it yeah, with something Yeah, somebody tries else. to mask it. That, and humans, and we will, the dogs will smell odors that the humans just can't smell. If it, it'll be that faint, they'll still wow. pick it up. Okay, so there you go. All right, so uh, congratulations, you had a, a capture. Mm -hmm. uh, this was Stephen Early Garner. Yes, he was picked up last week, so one more off the books. All right, and got us a new list today. Yes, got six more individuals that, I know you have a viewer out there that know something about these individuals. And, mm -hmm. we're, and, the, and the operator standing by right now waiting to take your viewers calls. Oh, that call. All right, let's hit him real quick. Take a good look at Michael Andrew Bordley. Michael Bordley, uh, we believe him to be up in the Dover area. We have a warrant that was issued in connection with burglary charges. Now, if you know where he is, please call Crime Solvers to report his location. It is a piece of cake to bring anybody back from the state of Delaware, so no issue whatsoever. All right, similar name, but this is a different guy. This is Michael Anthony Butler, Jr. Yeah, Michael Butler, Jr., we believe him to be up in Del Mar still. We have a warrant that was issued in connection with CDS possession with the intent to distribute. So if you know his location, it's called Crime Solvers. I think we've seen James William Headstream the third before. Yeah, James Headstream. We've been trying to find him um, for quite a while now. We know he has some addresses, some ties to this area here in Salisbury. He also, when he was arrested, he also had ties to um, other areas out, out of state. But we know that people know him in this area. If you know where he is relocated to, please call Crime Solvers so we can get him brought back. With the charges that we have, second week escape, we're gonna be able to, we can bring him back from uh, almost anywhere. Go get him. All right, uh, this is Brian Michael McCauley. Brian McCauley. Uh, we've also been looking for him for a little while. We last know him to be in the Delmar area. We have a warrant that was issued in with burglary, theft, and CDS possession. So if you know where Mr. McCauley is, just go walk over, get that phone, call Crime Solvers right now to report his location. Now here's a guy you're really wanting to find, Danny Postel Sr. Yes, Danny Postel. He, we have a warrant for him because he is a sex offender and he is not checking in with us. So he's somewhere out there in our community just wandering around. Right. Unregistered. Need to find him. He's not checking in with us. So we don't know where he lives because his last known address was homeless. So if you know where Mr. Postel is, please call Crime Solvers right now. If you know anything about him, where he hangs out, where we might be able to find him here in Wicomico County, call. He is a priority to get him brought in. All right, so one more real quick before we got to go. John Richard Smith. John Smith, we believe him right here in Salisbury, and we want him in connection on a warrant that was issued for burglary and theft charges. So just like everybody else we've shown today, if you know where John Richard Smith is, just pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers right now. Number to know is? 410-548-1776, and enthusiastic operators are standing by <laughs> right now, right now to take right now. your call so they can get that information to us. All right, thank you. Don't go anywhere because I need to learn more yes, about it. I'm going to tell you all about it. Tell me all about that.